In this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use our new knowledge on equations in formulas. In algebra, you will be working with expressions, equations, and formulas. An expression is like a statement. It can consist of more than one term, variables, and constants. When two expressions are equated to each other, we have an equation, and then we can solve the variable. And finally, a formula is an equation where the variables stand for defined quantities. In our example, K represents the total cost of a cell phone contract, and M represents the number of minutes talked during the month. So here we can see that this contract has a fixed amount of 500 Rand per month, and then you pay 10 Rand for every minute that you talk. Let's have a look at how we can use our knowledge on equations in formulas. Consider the formula for determining the circumference of a circle. The circumference is equal to 2 pi radius. So here we are given a formula with constant values and variables. Because it's a formula that is known to you, it is not necessary to expand on what the variables are for. We can, however, give you a formula that you're not familiar with, and then we'll tell you what the defined quantities for the different variables are. The constant values in this formula will be 2 times pi. Even though pi is a symbol, we know it has a constant value that is programmed on your calculator, and we also sometimes use the rounded value of 3,14. The variables in the formula will then be the radius of the circle and the circumference of the circle. The circumference of the circle is determined by the length of the radius. Therefore, the radius is the independent variable and the circumference is the dependent variable. Because we now know how to solve equations, as soon as information about one of the variables is given, we can solve or determine the other variable. Question 1. Calculate the circumference of a circle with a radius of 5 cm. Here, the value of the radius r is given, and my first step would be substitution. So, to determine the circumference of the circle, I'm going to substitute the r with 5. This can be determined on your calculator and then rounded. Question 2. Calculate the radius of a circle with a circumference of 48 pi. When you are given a value in terms of pi, it means we are giving you the most accurate value, because this value hasn't been rounded. Here we are given the circumference of the circle, which is the left-hand side of my equation, the c value. So, in the place of c, I am going to substitute 48 pi, because the 1 unknown has been given, we can now solve the second unknown. To get rid of the 2 pi on the right hand side, I'm going to do the inverse operation of multiplication, which will be dividing by 2 pi on both sides. Once I've done this, on the right hand side I'm left with only the radius, and on the left hand side I have the answer of 24 because pi divided by pi is 1, and 48 divided by 2 is 24. Any equation or formula that contains two variables or unknowns forms with those two unknowns ordered pairs on a system of axes, and then, of course, a graph can be drawn. Here we are given the equation y is equal to 2x plus 30, and we need to use this equation to complete the table. In the first column, we are given the x value of minus 2, which means I'm going to use substitution to change the x value in my equation to minus 2. That means that here we have minus 4 plus 30, which gives a y value of 26. The combination of x and y value forms an ordered pair on your system of axes. When the x value is minus 2, the y value will be 26. In the next column, we are again given an x, and this time it is 0. 
So once again, I will use substitution and changing the x to 0, the y value will be 30. So my second ordered pair is 0 and 30. In the last column, we are given a y value of 36. So when substituting, I will now change the y value on the left to 36. And now I have a few calculations to solve x. Firstly, to get 2x alone on the right hand side, I'm going to subtract the 30 on the left. This will leave me with 2x equals 6. And to get rid of the times by 2, I will divide both sides by 2, ending with the x value being equal to 3. So here my ordered pair is an x of 3 and a y of 36. When you now go and plot these ordered pairs or coordinates on a system of axes, you will see that it forms a straight line.